In a previous video, I showed you the Festo conveyor sorter using the Automation Direct PLC trainer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the press or the assembler station, again connected to the Automation Direct PLC trainer. So, if we take a look at this, you'll see, and I'll go ahead and I'll run it, you'll see that the basic purpose is to take the two halves of the part push the one part out on top of the other, have the ram come down, press them together, and then eject the part. So it starts with placing the one part on the bottom, then using the um, selector switch to turn it on, and then the cycle would repeat. You'll notice that the part, when it gets pushed out, doesn't end up uh, on top exactly right, but because of the way the part is designed, once the uh, clamping or the uh, pressure mechanism comes down, those two parts do go together. So let's look at that one more time. Uh, turning the momentary selector switch, saying that the part is in place. So let's take a little bit closer look at the different parts of this station. As with all the Festo stations, they can be reconfigured in a number of different ways. So some may be saying, well, you know, there should be a sensor here to sense that there's actually a part there. You're correct, there, there could be one place there. Um, the way it's configured though, we don't have that. So we've got inputs and outputs on our I.O. block as we normally find. On this particular station we've got one, two, three, four inputs and one, two, three, four outputs. If we take a look at the system, let's start with the inputs first of all. I mentioned the selector switch, so that's certainly one of the inputs. On the cylinders there are sensors but only for one of the positions. In uh, many cases you'll oftentimes see a pneumatic cylinder with two sensors be able to sense the retracted position as well as the extended position. In this particular case this has only one and that one is positioned to sense the retracted position. Likewise on this clamping cylinder we have a sensor but only one and is in the position that will sense that this is actually down and in the clamping position. And then finally we have the eject cylinder. It has one sensor on it as well and that sensor is for the retracted position. The outputs. Again we have four outputs. We have obviously the different cylinders but if we take a little bit closer look let me go ahead and disconnect my air. And you probably notice, obviously, that this is a pneumatic device, where the other one is completely electrical. So, here we have the valves that control the three cylinders. You'll see that two of them are identical, so this outer one and this inner one. And this middle one is different, and what's different about it is that it has two output. It has two solenoids to control it. So these valves are four two-way valves controlled by a single solenoid. So whenever the solenoid is turned on, the valve will shift, but as soon as that solenoid goes off, it's going to return back to its normal position. Again, identical valve here doing the same thing. This middle one is also a four two-way valve but it's double solenoid controlled, meaning that when I energize the solenoid, the valve will shift. If I turn it off, it will stay in that position, so it's detented. And then if I energize the other solenoid, it will move the valve in the other position, causing the cylinder to move in the opposite direction. And again, because it's detented, it will stay in that position. So that gives us our one, two, three, four outputs. You'll notice there's little buttons on here. These are the manual overrides, so I can manually activate these valves. Maybe I need to get this into the correct starting position. So that is the end of this video for the Festo assembler station. Uh, if you would uh, take a look, you'll see that I have uh, another video on the 
Festo conveyor sorter. And there's also one going to be out on the Festo robot uh, part, uh, basically moving a part around. So it's a little robot. So please take a look at those videos. Uh, if you like what you see, certainly like the video. Give me comments, give me ideas and suggestions. And as always, please subscribe. Thank you.